For the lab practical portion of our final test, you need to demonstrate your ability to conduct an experiment all on your own without the help of a lab partner. The experiment you'll be conducting is fairly simple. Watch as I demonstrate. You're going to be given a ruler and a small block of wood. I want you to build a ramp for me using the small block of wood and the ruler making sure that the zero end of the ruler is against the table. You're then going to take half of a paper cup and place it at the foot of the ruler and then take the marble place it at the 10 centimeter mark and let it go. You'll notice that as the marble hits the cup, it transfers its energy to the cup and carries it away. You'll then measure how far the cup moves each time you roll the marble using the meter stick. You'll do that three times from the 10 centimeter mark, measuring how far the cup moves each time. Then you'll repeat the experiment with the marble at the 20 centimeter mark three times. And finally, you'll repeat the experiment three more times from the 30 centimeter mark on the ruler. You'll take an average of each of those measurements and record them in your data table. On the worksheet, you'll need to identify the independent variable, the dependent variable, and at least three controlled variables. On the data table, record your measurements, making sure that you label each number with the correct units and accurately calculating the averages. After you've completed collecting your data and you've identified the variables on the worksheet, you'll need to write the conclusion. The conclusion question asks, why does the location of the marble on the ramp affect how far the cup travels. You'll need to explain that using the CER format, making sure that you write a clear and complete claim. You'll need to back it with evidence from your data table from this experiment, and then use the scientific principles to link your evidence to your claim. You'll write that CER in Google Docs and share it with your teacher. You have 48 hours from the time that you conduct this experiment to make sure that you share that explanation with your teacher. Good luck.